very warm welcome and good morning to you. Thank you, Mrs. H. Welcome to this weekend, the Sunday shave. Thank you. Quite excited as I, you have to excuse the hair, by the way, I've, you know, I've combed it back. Um, it was, I hadn't had a cut yet and it was getting on my nerves, it was all over the shop. It's still a bit untidy, but it's just out the way. So, fat my f <laughs> Right, exciting shave for me, this, because this, I want to show you now, I'm going to show you the box it comes in first, Reggie's Razors. And uh, little things about this, it comes in a little box there, right? Look at that. Made in England. Now this razor I'm about to show you, I'll show you the box it comes in. Uh, it comes in a steel box and it slides open, there's nothing into no, it, slides open. So the handle goes in here, the head and the and the um or is it the head and the base plate go in this one here and then it slides, you can see it's steel. Slides shut, very nice. Uh, comes with a lifetime. That's metal. That use razors. Lifetime warranty. And uh, it says polish. <laughs> See this. Thank you very much for this. And so that's that. Let me just put them out of the way. And here is the razor. Now this. Look at this. This is called the Jupiter Brass. A three-piece non-adjustable good weight to it there's lined knurling on the top half of the razor there and I'll go through a th few specs with you there it's like a scalloped closed comb head now these are designed manufactured and finished in Britain in the UK and I'll just undo this for you they don't do just these there's um these are going to be coming soon and it's manual, see that there, Reggie's razors. Uh, I love polished brass. Um, and the good thing with this, look at this. The good thing with this is you can polish it if you want. These have been hand polished. Or you can leave it, have go to a patina if you like that sort of thing, you know. So it's, you got, well, I'll leave it undone because I want to put the blade in. Um, so that's that. So I just want to tell you a few things about it. So, yeah, it's this um, Jupiter brass uh, made with a durable and corrosion resistant brass. Um, so they're preci precision CNC machined. As I said, designed, made and finished in the UK. The materials are 100% UK sourced and this is instrumentation CZ121 brass. Doesn't mean nothing to me, but <laughs> thin vintage design inspired from the 1940s classic razor. Hand polished, custom steel gift box, lifetime warranty and free shipping anywhere in the UK. UK only. Um, what else have we got? Let me get to... So the, the whole weight of this razor is 110 grams. So it's a good weight. Uh, the head is 30 grams, the handle is 80 grams. The total length of the razor is 108 millimeters. The handle on its own is exactly 100 millimeters. Um, the razor head, the safety razor head, is 43 millimeters uh, in wide, in width. And um, it's a closed comb scalloped, yeah. And it's, uh, the blade gap is 0 0.5 millimeters. So hopefully that'll help you. Um, I'll put a link to the website in the description. As I say, these are going to be, I think they're hoping to be shipping these out the end of March, end of this month. Because um, I got this as well. Reggie's Razors Shaving Cream. Tin, again. Oh, this smells. You only know, know a scent. And I could smell something in this. And what it is... I'll show you now, it's, it's on this, uh, it's a three ingredient, uh, where are we now? Yeah, so this, this shaving cream, traditional shaving cream, it rinse, uh, 
spreads easily, it rinses clean, which is a good thing. Contains no parabens, sulfates or artificial fragrance. Um, subtle masculine scent of Artemis, inspired by the Greek goddess of the hunt. Artemis is a blend of cedarwood, no wonder I liked it, bergamot and sage. And that's what I could smell in the background. So once you get them, once you know them, um, cedarwood, bergamot and sage are a combination. Beautiful. But it is masculine, it's a very sort of, almost a classic-y scent, isn't it? So I put some in the, look at me, it's right messy. Put some in the base of that there. I'm going to use my own brush, DS Cosmetic, the Paul H Films brush, synthetic. So we'll start lathering that now. Now the blade I'm going to put in this razor is the blade I used last, the Persona Platinum. So it'll be its second, second use. Anyway, how are you doing in yourselves? All right. So a British razor today. All right, so another thing. Uh, I'd like to thank Rick, who contacted me on Instagram, uh, at Rick Star Shaves. I'll put a link to Rick's in Instagram in the description, check him out. He does uh, lots of pictures um, of shaving products and equipment and stuff like that. Equipment, shaving products and shaving pictures. I think he's got this razor as well. Uh, and if, if it wasn't for him contacting me... Um, because he was already in contact with Reggie's razors, Jonathan. Uh, I wouldn't have had this, or the, or the shaving cream. So thanks, Rick. Uh, much appreciated. So I'll, it's lathered up now nicely. So I put, as I say, check him out on Instagram. And um, there you go. All perfect. So, just wet the face. As I say, excuse the hair. If many, anybody follows me from, oh, many years ago, I used to have it a bit longer, and it used to be combed back like this. Didn't quite recede that far then, though. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we put the razor in now. I'm trying to... So here we go. Persona Platinum, second use. Feels very nice and precise. And I can tell something which is very pleasing for me already, and that is, I can safely say, no overhang. That is nice. Beautiful. Good weighty razor. Okay. So here we go. Reggie's written. Look at that, peaks. Shaving cream. Hopefully bringing back some good old manufacturing in uh, Britain. that will heat up the Jupiter brass as I say I've always wanted a polished brass razor you can easily keep this one polished you see there's not too much intricate details on it and uh, anyway here we go I'm excited about this first pass Wow. First of all, it feels very friendly. A silly thing to say, but it feels very friendly. There's no aggression in it. And it makes that blade, which felt aggressive in, in that other, well, it had a bite to it in the cutlass. But, um, it feels so different in this. Very, very comfortable. You can tell it's a precise, you can tell when these razors are made sort of with a precision. It 
feels nice in the hand does keep clean now that well we'll go to the second pass for the no problem with this uh, shaving cream this is a nice blade you know for me right through any razor Yeah, Jonathan. So thank you, Jonathan, for sending me the razor and the shaving cream to try. So I thought it's only right to try the two together, isn't it? So let's see what uh, Yeah, so the slickness there. It felt good during the shave and you can feel it a bit slicker now it's wet. So that will tell me that will get better as we go along with these, look at this, as the passes. So it's not an aggressive razor. Um, how can I say it's a, it has its own, you know, it looks like, um, what I'd normally say is looks very Edwin Jagger or very, Merc sort of um, what's the name? Thirty four C or something like that. But uh, it has its own feel to it. It's a very, very comfortable feeling razor. Not aggressive. So it feels. Standard mid aggression, but with a bit of precision, shall we say? It feels very precise. So, I expect if I put a feather in this, it would feel a step up, sort of sharper. It'd feel sharper. Well, it is a sharper blade, um, but it would feel a precise, precise, sharper. That makes sense. Saying some silly words, doesn't it? It would sound feel more precise. Yeah. Made in the UK. Wow, lovely. Now this scent, as you're shaving, now it's. It's releasing sort of, and it's beautiful, the scent. I gotta say that um, that combination, it must be the sage in it. Because I've had bergamot, cedarwood, sandalwood, that type of stuff uh, together in a lot of products, but this is slightly different. And it has something now, as, as I'm shaving, you know that smell when it's, released should we say when the scent released there's something in there i've smelled years ago and very very enjoyable and it must be the sage in with the sort of bergamot cedar wood and the sage and that's what's doing it so that's lovely really nice yeah so we've got a bit more slickness as we go so, what's um, shave of the day, please? Meal of the day. For me, they're out of season now, but uh, I've got in the, well, out of the freezer, obviously. Um, pheasant, I'm doing two pan fried pheasant breast skin on. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, I'm sorry, I go silly, don't I? But I've just pan fry some pheasant breast along with some asparagus, and I'll do a few green beans, or I'll steam them, and I'll make a plum sauce. That'll go onto the pheasant with some creamy mash, 
So it'll be creamy mash, asparagus, beans and pan fried pheasant breasts with hopefully crispy skin and a drizzle of plum sauce against the growth. So as we're going along it's a very efficient razor there's no um, obviously it feels solid is a good weight no issues with slippage or anything like that for me but you've got this good as I say lined knurling here um, no overhang fantastic I know some people like overhang because um, overhang is there on a razor basically to it's meant to help you place and uh, take out the blade you know has a something to get hold of but um, I certainly don't think you need it personally but uh, yeah so it feels nice on the face I don't know what it is some razors just feel this weird thing feels safe as soon as you put it on your skin you feel when you start shaving you think oh yeah I like you <laughs> it sounds sounds silly doesn't it but But go and check their um, website out. They have a lot of information there on themselves. And that is nice. There's only one thing to try it on now. And that's three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Right. Probably thinking now. Oh, pick up. Just where on the usually the neck area, but we're getting the old uh, where hair grows in all directions, doesn't it? So you tend to miss. You feel a bit of rough here, and so we just pick up, trying to get that uh, smooth shave. Do you want the neck joke? Do somebody did say in the last thing? But why not? I won't be in work today. Why not? Because I'm using this beautiful razor, and I want to use it again. So I'll see you Tuesday. Thank you. Because it'll be Monday work and Tuesday. Why not? You like that, don't you? Somebody asked, why not? Is that a reopener from the last? It could be, because I didn't feel that. Very comfortable. I think there's a aluminium, um, is it? Aluminium um, razor coming out, or is out. Coming out maybe. As I say, check the website, there's lots of stuff going on there. So feedback on the shaving cream, the scent is amazing. I love that scent, as I say, that's sage for me. Um, it's a good thing really, because I've just found out that I've smelt this before and I think, what is it? And it's been used in sort of cedarwood, sandalwood, bergamot and things like that. And it's sage, lovely, really nice addition. Um, aftershave splash with that would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Scent strength. From here now as we're lathering, it's about four and a half. Um, very nice, really, really nice. And I'm getting a whiff of it as I'm as it's moving about, and that's when I got that. Oh, that sage, that lovely sage sand in the background. So I just cold water rinse. That was lovely.
That one's locked. Yeah, so the um it's slick, it got slicker as the shade nearly put that on please. It? it gets slicker as the shade progresses, as many shave creams do. Um and it worked nicely, so really nice that. Um Jonathan if you're watching. And this working look beautifully uh, as I say feels nice nicely balanced good weight um, feels very friendly for me maybe a silly thing to say but and um, mid standard aggression uh, but very precise and we're going to use Thayer's cucumber witch hazel Oh, I tell you, I got some time off soon, I think. Oh, maybe not that soon. Well, coming up anyway. And something I'm going to do, which my grandmother used to do, my late uncle used to do, I'm going to pickle. Just in malt vinegar they use, the brown vinegar. You could use the distilled, the, the white vinegar. But they did it in a big bowl, and it was onion and cucumber. Loads of it. Just put it in and have it with salad, have it in a sandwich with a ham or something. And I'm going to do that because uh, I love stuff like that. We're going to use some fresh wood. This is Boots the Chemist fresh wood after shave. Just as a being that the shaving cream had cedar wood, we're going to have some fresh wood. Oh yeah. I can't remember when my dad used this. How if this was out then? Must have been a version of it, I think. And then this, I've not used that for a while. Nivea Originals. So, there we go. As I say, I was quite excited about this shave. Um, made from start to finish in the UK. British made. Which is lovely to hear and see, isn't it? Um, and I'm very proud to... Uh, to show them on the channel, you know, it's nice for help any business like that. And they want to sort of bring sort of manufacturing back to Britain as well. And we can all do our little bit. Um, so based on that, fantastic. I think they do a steel version. Have a look at the website. They do different ones. As I said, there's an aluminium, I think, version coming out or something. They do cartridge razors with a similar handle to this. If you're into cartridge razors still. Uh, which is very nice I think you know you can <laughs> good idea so we've used yeah the Reggie's razor the Jupiter brass uh, very nice very close and very comfortable thank you uh, Jonathan we've used the Reggie's razor shaving cream as I say with that uh, with the bergamot cedarwood and sage beautiful scent Paul H films brush lovely um, there's no sort of dissipation either with the cream to note really nice and the slickness as I say got better and better I have done this here I think I did these on the last but I must have reopened them isn't it because I didn't feel anything um, the Persona Platinum second use really nice water to rinse Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber as I say Boots the Chemist Fresh Wood Aftershave and the Nivea Originals Balm and that's it I'll leave you to it thank you again so thanks Rick, Instagram, and um, thank you Jonathan from Reggie's Razors, and good luck with the company. Uh, I hope it flourishes for you, and I hope we're able to do something in the future, if I can help in any way. So all the best, thanks, for, have a great weekend, great shaves, see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Look forward to that, all the best, and bye-bye.